Alright Speed, this is Absolver. Uh, this is my character called Saxa, uh, named after a character from Spartacus. Uh, she's my sort of, I describe it, somewhat tank character and I'm quite enjoying it. Uh, level 23 at the moment. Uh, I'm specking it, well I'm trying to make it as balanced as possible but really I'm specking into strength, vitality and endurance. If I give you a very brief overview of what, roughly what these things are, so if you look at the left under my name and level, you'll see something called Cult Method. Uh, it's one of the three starting styles and Cult Method is sort of your art typical tank. Uh, their ability is an absorb, so you move the right stick to prevent impact and you don't get staggered by the hit and the damage you take is temporary. If you can avoid all damage after that, you'll regain it. If you deal damage yourself, you'll regain it even quicker, but if you take damage, you'll lose it anyway. It's not really too useful, but I've had some fun with it. I'd say it's probably one of the weakest uh, abilities at the starting. Uh, as you can see, my mobility at the bottom is slow because I'm trying something. Not the meta at the moment is literally go run a really light character and go fast attacks, but uh, ignore that noise. Someone's just coming in the area. Uh, but yeah, I'm trying to fight, but like a, as I said, a tank. Uh, because of the these RPG elements, I've sort of approached it with an RPG mind instead of a fighter mind. So, so before I started up the game, I was sort of like what sort of character do you want to create and instantly I was like whilst my favourite uh, Skyrim RPs, my favourite Fallout RPs have been the heavier characters so I thought I'd do something like that so I want to create this uh, fighter around the idea that she's going to be able to hit hard take a hit and uh, trade, she won't be too quick but uh, she fights smart like she'll always want to out trade and uh, out trade not out manoeuvre, but sort of out, uh, out play, I'd sort of say. The sort of faster character have an easier time. Uh, so if I go over the move deck. So you can have three move decks. You've got this one, you've got a weapon one, which at the moment I've got these sort of boxing glove things, but I want a sword instead. Oh no, we have got a sword, but... Oh, okay, I didn't know. You could have a sword and that. But I haven't got a sword on my actual uh, character in game. This is just practice decks. So I'll show you my combat deck. So... Once again, the RP mind in my head, I was like, uh, okay, hey, Sax are going to fight. What sort of moves is she going to use? Uh, note, though, this, this deck is not far from complete. There's loads of moves I need to unlock to make this where I want. So in my head, I sort of like, I sort of remembered Sub-Zero from Mortal Kombat, and I remember they had uh, something called, I think it was like Dragon Shaolin or Dragon Kung Fu, and I liked the way uh, it was very fast punches. But the kicks were uh, quite long, quite elongated, and very elegant. And I thought that could uh, work well in my playstyle, how I wanted sort of big trade hits and big sweeping movements. So generally, what I've done is my opening attacks are generally quite quicker uh, little jabs, not very damaging. Uh, this one's a bit of a slower combination, it's like a hook, but they all finish on a sweep. So you got sweep, sweep, and then these two is a bit shorter, but. Uh, little hit and then you got two kicks which are quite slow and then my alternative attacks I've got a heavy damaging kick an armor break so if people are just blocking I can open up the guard and a very heavy elbow and then a dodger roll punch which is all quite damaging it's probably overwhelming at the moment and I'm just spewing information here but there's method in the madness so okay looking at this top com oh, I'm just gonna go for the tom combo from the top right position so if you look at the diamond on the top left next to this uh, highlighted combo it says being the top right stance I've set this combo up so I can just keep pressing X and it'll take me all the way down to here and then back up to here. So I'll do that now. So this is great just to be able to like put pressure on. So it starts with a quick attack. Sweep. Punch. Punch. Another sweep. Weird kick. Weird, oh, sorry, punch. Kick. Bang. And I can loop that all the way around. So I'm going to try and just loop it around for you twice so you can see it. There you go, that's two loops, and if I do two full loops, that took root uh, ran me out of stamina. The reason I like this is, it's two highs, two highs, and then I do a sweep, two highs again, another sweep, uh, two highs again, high kick, high kick, and they're quite damaging. But because the highs and sweeps, I can initiate a mix-up with these alternate attacks. All the alternate attack is you press Y, instead of pressing X, and you do this move and it shifts the combo to a different part of this uh, row here 
and I've got it set up so it links quite well. So, okay, so take the easiest one, the punch, the jab, punch, sweep. So if I keep doing this, and the enemy's good, what he'll do, he'll realize, just block the two jabs, because they're quite fast and maybe hard to dodge, or parry. And then, dodge his sweep with an up jump or a parry. He can parry left, or he can jump up, depending on what class he is. When I see him start, like, countering that, what I'll do is I'll go punch, punch, alternate, high heavy kick. So say if he went for the parry, the low parry, uh, he's going to miss it because he's, he's looking for the sweep. So I'll go bang, bang, low parry, hit him in the face with, like, a 150 damage kick. Uh, if it's a windfall on the dodge, what they'll be doing, they'll be jumping up now. So when they jump up, you go bang, bang, heavy kick. And the interesting thing is, when I do this kick, as I said, it changes it to a different part of the combo. So this kick leads into the end of my combo. So if you remember, I do those really fancy kicks at the end of that massive combo. If I do the alternate, I can skip right to those kicks instead. And it'll take me back to the start of the combo. So the second one, which say from in left stance, it's very similar. So it's a bit slower because I've got hooks. So, so if I do it again, so it's like hook. Hook, sweep. It's a bit more damaging, but a bit slower. Hook, hook, sweep. Now, very similar to the first way I do it, uh, if they start dodging the sweep or countering it, I can go hook, hook, bang. This big flying elbow. Bang, bang, bang. So you can imagine if like, they'll end up input in the wrong direction. The thing is with this elbow here, can you see it's got that weird effect on it? That means if the enemy's just blocking it constantly, that will punch through the guard and open them up so I can go back into the rest of my combo. Uh, and this leads into actually the right next stage, which doesn't actually skip anything that one does. But this one's quite an interesting position. So that leads into here, yeah? See that shield on the logo? That shield means if I time this right, where's he gone? There. If I time this right and throw an attack out as they do, my punch parries their attack and I get away in. And I've followed that up with quite a quick elbow. So, like, imagine I throw this attack and it parries. Oops, do it properly. There you go. I can follow up with that elbow for some guaranteed damage. And that does 74, 74, so it's decent. And if I'm feeling a bit cheeky, I can always try the alternate. And it goes into like that big uh, gut punch. Well, elbow, sorry. So, bang. So, like, bang. Bangs. So, I could, like, parry and go straight into the alternate. Or I could hit it twice. Oh no, I can only eat it one. So it's literally parry or alternate, or parry attack, and it leads into the kick combo, yeah. And on my last one, so if I was on that kick combo, obviously it takes me back there, and I've got that big kick again. Or I could do one kick. Oh, no, I can't. My last... Oh, I just burped. Pardon me. Uh, okay, my last alternate is like this dodging attack, so if I press it now, if they do a high attack, I'll dodge under it. I don't use these too often because, as you just saw, I got confusing because it doesn't actually flow into my deck that well. But uh, I hope you got the idea that, like, I've got this idea of like this tanky Dragon Shalian style where it's going to be like quite fast but low damaging punches, but they're just there to interrupt and so I can counter. And, uh, sort of like really big sweeping kicks which are really damaging, really damaging. Even the sweeps do quite a bit of damage. But uh, what this deck is lacking, I need a super armor attack so I can punch through things. And I'd like a few more fast kicks so I can replace these slow jabs with some faster sweeping kicks. But we'll get there. Alright. Uh, oh, I can show you the thing here, I think. Oh, I can't. Let's do it again quickly. I'll show the absorb quick. This guy won't attack, but uh, basically... While guarding or in neutral, I move the stick like this, and if I time that well and they hit me, I just like don't get pushed back on the hit, and I, I have a chance to recover the lost health, but it's quite hard to use really. Right, I'm gonna jump in a combat trial now. Uh, this build is far from perfect, I should warn you. Very far from perfect, but I have been having quite a bit of success. I think I've had a. Uh, how many jewels I've had? With this current build, I've maybe I've had about three, four jewels, and I've not lost one yet. But uh, there has been some tough matchups. 
issue with this game at the moment, there's no matchmaking, so you're meeting people who've got like max gear. Like this this guy's a um, max level, that's a max level helmet. So it is a bit tough, but I'll give it a go. Alright, so I like to start. Just in here. And we'll just do the combo. Oh, nice dodge. Nice dodge. Alright, this guy's good at dodging. Oh I'm not gonna I'm gonna alternate that then. Shit. Got him. See, that's a mix up. He doesn't know what's coming. Missed it. Shit. Alright, I'm gonna do it again. Oh, I'm gonna go into the parry. Alright, back off. Oh, he slowed me down now. Oh, I've got no idea. Bang, bang. There we go, this sweep got him. Nice. So I use mobility there called gravity, which slows him down. He did that to me. But that hurts me even worse because I'm a slow character and he's a quick. Alright, let's do it again. I'm gonna st oh, shit. Oh, I didn't parry that in time. Dodged it with my own attack, which is why I like to have sweeps. Absorbed it, but didn't counter properly. Shit. Oh, I'm getting flustered now. Got him! <laughs> I was lucky. <laughs> oh man. That was a big risk. I did a slow attack. But I'm quite low in health. But I've got two rounds up. Oh shit, he did that last time. Got him. Mine's a bit quicker. Oh, I traded the hit. That was a good trade for me though. Alright. Oh, I thought that was a kick. I'm in the wrong stance. Big kick. Oh, I didn't fall for it. Low kick. Bang, bang. Big kick. Oh, it was a big punch, but he traded. I've got mine. So. Shit. Oh, shit. I need my stamina back badly. Got him! <laughs> there we go, mate. There we bloody go. I hope you enjoyed that. I'll record some uh, more duels when I get a bit more uh, competent at this game. But I hope you enjoyed.